Fall sports are well underway and many parents are watching their kids play soccer, volleyball, football, run cross country. Are we helping them though the best way we can? Joining us to talk more about that this morning is our education expert, Jennifer Brinker, assistant principal at Greenwood Middle School. Thanks for joining us as always, Mrs. Brinker. So um, let's get right into it. What do you think, you used to be an athletic director, by the way. What do you think is the number one mistake parents make when it comes to their kids in sports? You know, um, and, and I'm, I'm glad you mentioned that right off the bat. It's such a good thing to be involved in school athletics. It teaches a sense of community, a sense of accomplishment, hard work. Um, but the minutes that parents aren't positive, that's where things start to fall apart. So what your child wants to see is that you're coming to those games, you're happy to be there, and that you're really positive and enjoying it. So the minute you start to berate, um, you know, the, the coaches, the referees, um, the athletes, then that's where things really can start to fall apart for the kids. Sometimes you do have a disagreement though as a parent with the coach or you don't think something was handled well uh, on the field. What's the right way to go about that? Well, I think the first step is to realize that the coach is an ally of yours. You're on the same team. You want the kids to do well. Um, you know, but those disagreements are going to happen. So again, I would just try and say positive. Remember that you have a very vested interest in your one student athlete, whereas the coach sees the whole picture. So keep that in mind. But I would just say refrain from ever making some sort of spectacle. You don't want to be um, talking to the coach about this during a practice or during a game in some sort of public forum. Um, make sure that it's private and that you try and stay as positive as possible to seek understanding. There's a study out there that shows 40 million kids are in sports every year, but 70% of them drop out by the time they're 13 years old. Why do you think that is? Well, I mean, sometimes kids do get involved in other activities that take up their time. Sometimes as they get older, they don't make the cut to make the team. Um, but I also think a big part of it is that we focus a lot more on wins and losses as it becomes more competitive as the kids get older, and it becomes less about skill and character development. So I think that's tough. And listen, if your child and their team, if they're really good, that comes with a lot of pressure. If they're not very good, that's very disappointing and that's tough to get through. But again, maintaining that positivity is what's gonna help them want to stay a part of the sport. It should be fun. Yeah, and you, you mentioned the importance of growth and learning about it. It's not about just wins and losses and also learning to be a part of a team, I think it's so significant. Final advice? You know, I would just say stay in the moment and enjoy it. If you're always looking ahead to the next season, the next game, the next team, you're missing out on right now. Let the coach be the one that worries about, you know, down the future from now. Just enjoy that game you're at. Smile a lot. Uh, let your child teach you something about the sport. Try not to berate them. And, you know, as soon as you get in the car after the games that you could have done this or this or this, just enjoy the ride and smile a lot. Limit that judgment when you can. Yeah, enjoy the now because it does go so fast. Jennifer Brinker, thank you so much. We'll see you next week. Thank you.